Welcome to Oat & Co. Bridal. Come on in. We own the market for styling curvy brides. This is a really nice snatched yes. waist. Yes. At Oat & Co., we're known for style, snatch, slay, good day. One of our problem brides. Love to lose weight between appointments. <laughs> I want every woman to have the perfect fit. Chanel, what do you think about these two? I love the, the crimson. I like both of them. I, mm -hmm. I just think that they don't tell a story that's full of continuity. I mean, besides sequin. In the mornings, we're all on the same team and everyone has the same goal. It's to open up and get ready for the brides. Jen's not helping you? Allie Jen, can I get some help, please? With the other dress form. Of course. We are here. <laughs> you guys want to hide from I'm me? I'm just suggesting that we all jump in. <laughs> Typically, I like to do a complete walkthrough of the boutique. I like to make sure that there is nothing on the floor, mirrors are spotless, dressing rooms are set. This hanging is not hanging right. So if my team sees me coming, I'm sure there's a little bit of trepidation for them. Y'all are killing me slowly. What is so funny? Trying to get this mannequin to the next level. Really? It's kind of like that joke. How many stylists does it take to change a mannequin? Close the door. Keep the magic alive. <laughs> hey. Hi, what you Shana. doing? I'm just studying some inventory, so I'm ready for my first bride. Uh, OK. That's good. I'm gonna grab a bra for our bride. Today we have a new bride, Mary, coming in. She's marrying her high school sweetheart. Mary's inspiration for her wedding gown is Kate Middleton. With Mary, we have you all day long. That gown Jacket is on that side. It's on that, that side. side, yeah. Okay. See, at some point, you'll be like the rest of us, you'll know exactly where every which, single gown and is and where size so you can pull faster. What is that? Um, it's kind of a surprise, Mary. My name is Mary, and I'm from Downers Grove, Illinois. I am 26 years old. I do human resources, and I'm getting married next November 2018. My fiance's name is Matt. Matt is a UPS driver. Being a plus-size girl, I'm looking for something to be a little bit more modest around my stomach and to cover my arms. But lastly, all of the royals that I've known that get married wore beautiful long sleeve dresses, like Hello Kate Middleton. What are you doing, ladies? Hello. You must be Mary? That's me. Okay. Did you bring me a gift? This is my wedding gown when I got married 31 years ago. Okay. And I thought it would be really special for Mary to try on my dress. Okay. Mary's mom bringing her wedding gown in its original packaging. I've had mom bring in their veils, but never their wedding gown. Let me ask Mary because really, it's not up to me as much as it's up to you. I know that my mom has been looking forward to this day because I knew that her excitement for this process stir up her bridal emotions. Yeah, we can try that dress on first. <laughs> We're gonna try that dress on first. I understand the complicated relationship between a mom and a daughter. Because my mom does this too. All right, ladies, come on back. All right. Great. This is oh, wow. a very exciting day. Oh Ooh. my gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. Maybe you can wear that veil. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Wow. wow. <laughs> oh, it's so plain. OK. Look at that. Lady Diana princess Those sleeves. Aren't the sleeves the I'm Those aren't the princess sleeves Mary ones. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Different princess. Oh, Different pretty. kind of princess. Different princess. The 80s are calling, and they want their dress back. All right, ladies. You can hear me coming. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> Come on, Mary. You can hear her coming. Oh, yeah. Because Mary wanted her mother to be a part of the process, she put the gown on as best she could. Now, had that been me, I wouldn't have done it, because my mom is what we call nice nasty. All right, ladies, open your eyes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so 
I appreciate the modifications. <laughs> so it was a look, mom, yes to the snatched in your day. That was a teeny, teeny waist. I had a feeling my mother's wedding dress wasn't going to fit because she said it was a 16, but that's like a 1980 16. There's some really beautiful detailing. We should remove some of these elements and add those to the veil because then you could be really a part of her wedding. Mary, thank you for trying on my dress. You're welcome. It was a dream come true. <laughs> trying on my mother's wedding dress fulfilled all of her wedding dreams, but it definitely was time for me. I think we're ready for Mary's dresses. Yes, I think we're ready think for we're our ready. moments. I think we're ready. Chanel, thanks for indulging me and letting me have that moment. I completely understand. It is really letting go of yes, your daughter. It is. And that's a very emotional moment for most moms. So I understand. Right. However, know your role, boo. Stay in your lane. Now let me go grab her first look. All right. Ooh, thank awesome. you. Let me think. Let me think. Let's see. Ladies, open your eyes. Stop. Wow. I so, love it. What? That's <laughs> gorgeous. I know you like embellishment. Mm -hmm. It is a classic A line. It has the silk skirt with an additional train that is detachable. It has an attachable train, so after the ceremony. You be carrying it. <laughs> you would no longer be Rebecca, you would be Pippa. Yeah. <laughs> and that you will be okay. carrying the train in oh, with the wow. gown. That's beautiful. Tell me what you like to see more of. Okay, so for the dress, the things that I do like. Oh, she looks so beautiful. <laughs> oh, God. It's okay. Allie has some tissue. It's okay. It's a very emotional moment. Tell me what you like most. Okay. I love the detail. So you love the embellishment. The skirt, not so much. I think, I don't know if I like the fabric. Okay. And I like the shape of the dress. You like the shape. Okay. So this is good. Mm -hmm. This is good. Now I know what your next look will look like. Great. Okay. Okay, now open your eyes. Oh, I love it. Wow. So beautiful. It is beautiful. I know. So this gown does a lot of what you really want in your gown. It has all the unique embellishment. It really tightens and cinches and accents your waist. It actually has a cap sleeve. However, we can extend this sleeve all the way down with this embellishment all the way down on the sleeve. So if you look in the back, just look over your shoulders this way, Mary, you'll see that all of this is sheer. A lot of ornate detail. This is a really nice snatch yes. waist. Yes. Yes. The skirt is a horsehair tool. It's just a little crinoline around the edge, horsehair, to give a little more shape. I definitely like this dress the best. I love the embellishments. I love the tool, but I don't know if I liked the layerings. We could actually make it just a simple tool skirt all the way down to the mm -hmm. bottom. I don't know if I like having the sheer right over my chest, mm -hmm. being able to maybe bring it down a little bit more. Another thing I would add in my dream dress would be a little bit of detail here, because I feel like it's just kind of like wrong. Yeah. It's very difficult for them to attach embellishment directly to a tool skirt without having the lace pattern. So if you wanted more embellishment and more detailing here, I would not recommend this dress for you. It's close. Yes. We know exactly the look you're trying to achieve, and we know for sure we're gonna have something for you. Great. All right, so what we're gonna do is talk next steps and book in that next appointment. Can't wait. All righty, come on. Thank you. Although I am leaving here without a dress, I do plan on coming back. My advice to other brides who do not have a Chanel would be be true to yourself, no matter her size. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Please don't kill my wall. I beg you, don't kill my wall. Sorry. So where are you guys hanging all the dresses? Though? Back on the receiving room. Okay, let's get ready for Inez to come in. Okay, sounds okay. good. We have Inez coming in today for her final fitting before her wedding in two 
days. Thank you, lady. Ali, you want to help me inspect the gown? Just to show you how it goes, since you're the new kid on the block. <laughs> So we just want to make sure everything is looking good. Okay. This is yes, <laughs> no surprises. And we're just pulling it out the bag. Oh, that is beautiful. That's beautiful in the back. Yeah, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the details. They did a really good job. It's all hemmed and ready to go. Did you need some help? <laughs> <laughs> I'm short, damn it. <laughs> Jeez, you wear heels, you're still short. Yay, it's the best day ever. My name is Inez, and I'm getting married in two days here in Chicago to my fiance, Shane. We met through a mutual friend six years ago who is actually our officiant. Shane and I have a common interest of photography. So we are getting married in an art gallery that we're going to have all of our work displayed called Floating World Gallery in Lincoln Park. So we're excited about that. Our aesthetic for the wedding is very vintage, so what I liked was also the champagne color of the dress, and it has a lace overlay. I really liked that because it made it feel like it was a little bit older. I think that's why I fell in love with the first dress that I tried on. Hi! Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Hi. Nice to see you. We want to make sure that every bride has a great experience all the way through final delivery. Okay, ladies, Ramika's got the dress already, and let's go back and take a look. Oh, um, yay! Okay. So, having lost some weight during the last nine months, because the workout that I do is very muscle focused and my body has become more toned, it's felt great to not have to have the dress taken out at all. But it was taken in after my initial fitting in February, so we'll see if everything is okay when I put it back on. Hey. And you say, Chanel, I'm ready, and I'm gonna get you in your gown. Okay. Thank okay. you. Almost there. <laughs> Open your eyes. Aww. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> oh, it's great. I love it. It's amazing. It looks so good. It looks you look so awesome. Amazing. Love you look so you awesome. Yeah. You look beautiful. You look so yeah. You know, Miss Inez is one of our problem brides who love to lose weight between appointments, oh who, who started at one size and went down two sizes throughout the appointments. Now, I know that you were a little bit concerned about the movement here because of the cups. Just a little bit of tape on the side. Yep. That's it. Yay. Don't tape yourself down too much, but yeah. perfect. Just so turn around to your family. Oh, so looks beautiful. So nice. How do you feel? I feel great in this. You look so awesome. Yeah. You look so good. What do you think Shane's going to say? I think he's going to cry. <laughs> he, better. he better cry. Yeah, yeah. I think he's going to cry. <laughs> yeah, it's exciting. And I'm glad that you actually deepened the V on the sweetheart mm -hmm. because it gave it a little bit more romance, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and I agree. Yeah, I it know. looks really pretty. Yeah. One of the things that we're known for is really customizing the gal to make it your own. Perfect. I also really like the bodice of the dress. I think it's very flattering for me, and I'm excited to kind of move around in it. Now I feel very comfortable in it. It had all the things I wanted. And you yeah. knew instantly. Yes. <laughs> this dress combined all the things I envisioned for myself for the style and mm -hmm. aesthetic of my wedding. We were going for vintage vibe, and it felt pretty in it. You want to see it with the stole on? Yeah, absolutely. Let's see it. Okay, absolutely. Oh, thank you. That's a nice color, Don't you think? too. It, it, oh it, my it, God. Yeah. Did you pick that out, Mom? Yeah, we you did. You did an amazing job. Yeah. That's the goal with Inez was to find a gown that truly represented her unique style and vision for her wedding. And Inez loved what she saw in the mirror, which is ultimately the most important thing when she walks down the aisle. That's really pretty. And you're going to be nice and toasty. I know, I hope so. It's yes. going to be cold. <laughs> My body has changed a lot in the last year, and I will say that getting married has been a big part of that, but it's also shifted my mindset to always try to find beauty within myself, be happy with where I am. I am very happy that I chose this dress because it makes me feel really beautiful. Thank you.